This is an interesting book to commemorate the 2,500 year anniversary of the Buddha's Parinirvana. And I got this at the old Black Oak Bookstore in 1997 for $35. So this is the foreign edition. The opening. <coughs> Frontispiece, I guess, this, this famous image from Ajanta Caves in color. Some Sanskrit. It says, published on the occasion of the 25th, 2500th anniversary of the Mahaparinirvana of Buddha. Published by the Director, Ministry of Information, Government of India, in Delhi. Times of India Press, Bombay, India. There was a <clears throat> the Sixth Buddhist Council evidently was being held at this time to commemorate the 2500th anniversary, which is 500 year periods are significant as it's Every 500 years is a stage in the decline of the Dharma until it's finally forgotten. First 500 years is the authentic Dharma. The next 500 years is the imitation Dharma and so on. And it opens, I guess Gandhi was president at the time, I guess. I, and so we have an essay from Gandhi on Buddhism from his perspective. Because uh, Buddhism was a Hindu reform movement in some sense. So Gandhi's final paragraph here is You who do well to own the Buddha as your teacher will do well to explore the limitless possibilities of nonviolence. It is infinitely greater than the gems and the diamonds people prize so much. Asia has a message for the whole world that will only live up to it. Asia has to relearn the message of the Buddha and deliver it to the whole world. So on the occasion of the 2500th anniversary of Buddha's Parinirvana, the Buddha Jayanti Celebration Committee decided that two books should be brought out which should serve as companion publications. The first, 2,500 years of Buddhism, was issued on the 24th of May, 1956. The second is now being issued under the title, The Way of the Buddha. Designed as an album narrating in pictures the story of the life of Buddha and the evolution and spread of Buddhism. And there's quite a collection of images with uh, Annotations, many black and white from all over. There's a few color, I guess, 
1956 color was uh, this is from the Dunwang Ks. Uh, when I don't think I've ever seen that's so amazingly clear for the Dunwang Ks. But there's quite a few uh, dramatic pictures, which here's the Prajna Paramita statue from Java. Unfortunately, not color and not really full size. And there's, um, this is a great picture. Apollo version of Buddha, almost slightly evolving from the Apollo representation. This is uh, Mathura. Looks like these are two different statues but the same style in the same area <clears throat> i love this halo this is amazing as a halo the significance of the halo is to me is so uh, representative of the radiance <laughs> of consciousness non-locality you know, the mind is not in the skull or the it's contiguous with space. And this halo is really something. And the robes and the expression. There's no date, but uh, let's see another. to see at some point but there's China uh, here's an Amida in Japan Quite a collection. <clears throat> Apparently, the um, surveying all of Asia, the Buddhist influence. So here we have Lumbini and Bodh Gaya. It's a relic of the tree under which the Buddha sat. Evidently from a planting from Sri Lanka. <coughs> Kusinara. The site of the Parinirvana. That's quite a reference here.
2,500 years uh, plus 63 now, I guess. 